Today we're going to be talking about zero carb food options. We get asked this question a lot, like if you want a snack on something, what can you eat that's zero net carbs? Sarah and I tend to only eat one meal a day. We'll just put a caveat in there and say that just because something has zero net carbs doesn't mean that it has zero calories. When they come out with that type of food, please let me know. It's called air. Yeah. So the first thing is pork rinds. I think pork rinds have actually come a long way. I agree. In the past couple years, there are some pretty delicious ones. And I think it has to do with the quality of the pork rind that determines if it tastes like a pork rind or not. So some of our favorite pork rinds are Epic Pork Rinds. Mm -hmm. 4505, I believe the name, pork rinds, and Southern Recipe Small Batch. I think that they sell them at World Market. Mm -hmm. They don't taste like pork rinds to us because they're flavored really well. Those three brands have the best quality of pork rinds, and you're probably not going to realize that they're pork rinds too much. Not sponsored, but hey, <laughs> we're open to it. So another snack that you could try that Sarah's going to disagree with, but I actually didn't mind it, are the Brahmi Lupini beans. Sarah and I decided to order a bunch of stuff off of Amazon a month ago or two mm -hmm. months ago, and we tried a bunch of these snacks on camera, and the lupini beans from Brahmi were an interesting choice. I had never tried lupini beans before. A lot of people in the comment section told us that they grew up eating them. I guess they're very popular in Italy. Mm -hmm. And I thought that they were an interesting snack. They kind of taste like wet pickled beans though. So I don't know why I was imagining more of like a crispy, crunchy yeah. snack like a dried out snack. And yeah. imagine my surprise. We obviously did not read what we were ordering when we opened the package and it was wet yeah. inside. But they do kind of taste cool for a snack if you're looking for one. And they taste healthy. It tastes good for you. So the third option that we would say is pickles. I was gonna say pickles. I like pickles. Same. In fact, I just like that they're crunchy, they're refreshing. I like salt these days. Good for a hangover. You gotta be careful with some types of pickles. Like of the course. butter pickles, they don't count. They were my favorite. I know, same, but they have of a course. lot of sugar. sugar. Bread and butter. Mm -hmm. Those were our bread and butter growing up. We ate them all the time. Of course, because they are sweet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so when I actually looked um, into getting pickles, I don't know, it was a while ago because we've been doing keto on and off for years. And I said, oh, pickles are, you know, a free food. Mm -hmm. I was absolutely appalled at the amount of sugar, but I do believe that there are some companies making sugar-free bread and butter pickles oh. now. Some of you guys have mentioned that because we have mentioned in the past I how much we love those. bread and butter pickles. And I also like cucumbers. Oh, and yeah. Going along with pickles. Some cucumbers are a great snacking option. They're crispy. They're crunchy, especially in the summer when they're fresh. I grow tons of cucumbers for this reason. And yeah, you can dip them into like a ranch dressing that might not have zero carbs. Oh, one thing also that we forgot is that last year we did a video where we dipped cucumbers in allulose oh, yeah. and it tasted like a watermelon. Mm -hmm. uh, we saw that hack online and people were doing it and we could not believe that it did taste like a watermelon if you were to cut up cucumbers and then dip them in allulose. I guess they're in the same family right, kind of sense. and it's sweet mm -hmm. so it's like sweet water pretty much and so it does remind us of watermelon. If you're looking for a sweeter zero carb snack you could try that. The next one that we would suggest is beef jerky. I tried biltong recently. It says it's a dried cured meat that originated in southern African countries and it tastes like beef jerky but mm -hmm. I think it has a different process of getting it there and it's more like chipped rather than like long pieces of jerky but it's really good mm -hmm. actually and it's really filling I mean the protein in that will keep you full for a long time and a lot of it is zero net carbs mm -hmm. remember though that it's meat and so it's very calorically dense so you shouldn't probably be eating this all the time mm -hmm. like everything in this list except for cucumbers go wild with those yeah. I mean I found very depressing I know but like this question of like what can I eat like unlimited and the answer is practically nothing basically the this option is dried meats of whatever kind just make sure that they are don't have a lot of sugar in them some of them do have sugar mm -hmm. in them so they'll be zero net carbs you have to check the packaging and make sure if that's what you're aiming for is zero net carbs because some of them have flavoring in them right that can lead them over or sugar so keep that in mind so something that I am fueled by and I enjoy and I have a lot of is coffee. There is some research that says that it can spike blood sugar mm. apparently, but technically it's zero carbs. The only carbs that come with it is what you add, you know, whether you add sweetener or you add heavy whipping cream or whatever, half and half. So we drink a lot of coffee. We love coffee here on our channel. If you want to buy us a cup of coffee, link in the description. <laughs> <laughs> so there's 
things like deviled eggs that you could eat or hard boiled eggs. Although I doubt anybody would want to eat those while watching a movie as a snack. That's just, yeah, true. But <laughs> we have an aversion to eggs on this channel because of a five day egg fast that we did in 2020. But that's always an option. Cheap, easy, can make it in advance and keep them in the fridge. So there's that. So the next one that we will talk about, which is the one that we avoid for the most part, is fat bombs. There are a lot of zero carb fat bomb recipes out there and oh my, are they delicious, but they are extremely high in calories and fat. I, I've gotten some from Factor and when I looked at the back, I was absolutely shocked. Fat bombs that are this size, they're peanut butter chocolate. They are delicious by the way, 170 calories. I'm talking this big. Yeah. It's like, that's tiny. Yeah. And it's so good. It's so easy to start eating those. You know, people like have all these fat bomb recipes that they want to eat and they're delicious because they're pretty much like eating a super decadent yeah. dessert. Something like fat bombs, while they are delicious, who doesn't love a good fat bomb cheesecake recipe, they might be zero carbs, but they are extremely high in calories. So just keep that in mind. So another idea that I used to eat all the time, actually I haven't had it in years, but I used to make them all the time. I used to have like roast beef, mayo, oh. a pickle roll up, and they are really, really good. You know, Shrimp cocktail? Oh, I love shrimp cocktail, Same. but I love cocktail sauce. Right. And it does have some calories in it. I don't know how you would make that zero carb. You but can I'm probably just, the just use like itself. maybe Tabasco or something on the shrimp. Spices on shrimp cocktail. Love shrimp cocktail. That's mm -hmm. a great one. Or you could do like maybe a sriracha mayo based yeah, sauce that's a good with idea. that. Mm -hmm. So that's a good idea. Getting hungry now. Cheese, you know, is typically zero net carbs. So um, in moderation, I think olive. Olives are less or probably have trace amounts of carbs in them. And they would be really great with like a charcuterie board. You have like pork rinds, olives, some, some cheeses, toasted pepperonis. some toasted pepperonis, and maybe like a, like a thicker cheese, like a spreadable cheese. And then, you know, you could have yourself a little charcuterie board. Mm -hmm. That's pretty good. There are some like hard crunchy cheese snacks like Wisps or Umland's Best, which are these little crunchy balls or Moon Cheese. Mm -hmm. We made a, a video in 2020 where we took cheese and we dried it out for overnight on a little pan. And then we put it in the oven for like two or three minutes at 400 degrees and it puffed up and it turned into like little cheese bites, which was really good. So good. you guys should try that. It's really simple and we make it all the time. So we want to know if you guys have any zero carb snack options that we're missing in this list. This is not an all encompassing list. This is just stuff that we eat. These are just things that we've personally tried and like that are zero net carbs per serving. But if you guys have any other ideas of ones that you'd want us to try or ones that anybody else should try, you should leave them in the comment section below. We would love to hear it. So if you guys like this content, please give this video a like. It does help us out with the YouTube algorithm so that more people see our videos. And don't forget to subscribe for more keto lifestyle content. If you guys wanna see other content by us, you can click on one of the videos on the screen and we'll see you over there. Anyway, I'm Sarah. And I'm Emily. And, and we, we are, are the Keto, keto Twins, twins signing out. out.